coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Solar-powered unmanned aircraft makes first flight. UAVionics launches tail beacon X transponder. And Parrot is chosen by the Swiss Army to supply micro drones. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. Phase of 35, a 115-foot wingspan solar electric aircraft, has successfully completed its maiden flight, designed to operate unmanned in the stratosphere, above the weather and conventional air traffic. Phase of 35 offers a persistent and affordable alternative to satellites combined with the flexibility of an aircraft. As a high-altitude, long-endurance vehicle, Phase of 35 is powered by the sun during the day and batteries at night. The long-life battery and efficient solar technology could allow the aircraft to maintain flight for up to a year. Phase of 35 is designed to provide a persistent platform for monitoring surveillance, communications, and security applications. And when connected to other technology, will provide both military and commercial customers with capabilities not currently available from existing air and space platforms. Further flight trials are scheduled for later this year, with possibility the aircraft could enter initial operations with customers within 12 months of the flight trials program completion. Now let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. Volocopter in Southeast Asia's largest everyday super app, Grab, will conduct a joint feasibility study on urban air mobility as part of an MOU to explore the prospect of urban air mobility solutions in the region's megacity. The study will look into the most suitable cities and routes to deploy air taxis, evaluate their best use cases, and explore the possibility of joint flight tests. The Enfield, Connecticut Police Department, with the help of a drone pilot from the Vernon Police Department, found a blind man who was reported missing by his family on February 5th. After around 30 minutes of searching, the man was found by the drone pilot about 100 yards into the woods, down an embankment, hidden from view. A new report from the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine states NASA should collaborate with the FAA and academia to research the full effects that increased unpiloted air vehicle traffic could have on society. The committee that conducted the study found, despite the everyday use of the term urban air mobility, these vehicles are servicing rural and suburban areas and can be highly beneficial to those settings even before they begin operating in more population-dense areas. Stressing the importance of unmanned aircraft systems operations to sustainable development, ICO highlighted the significance of Africa's global leadership in this area during last week's African Drone Forum in Rwanda. The event was convened by the government of Rwanda in collaboration with the World Bank and the World Economic Forum. In light of the rapid expansion of drone use in the region and the transformative importance of these technologies to a vast array of sectors. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Avionics added a new ADS-B transponder to its general aviation and urban air mobility lineup. Tail Beacon X, the new Mode S Extended Squitter ADS-B Out transponder, is intended to address global air traffic surveillance system requirements for current and future ADS-B mandates. Following the successful Sky Beacon and Tail Beacon formula, Tail Beacon X's installation takes advantage of the existing aircraft lighting locations for mounting and access to aircraft power. Tail Beacon X is the first commercially available avionics solution, developed with the needs of urban air mobility in mind. It weighs only 90 grams and takes no critical volume from an internal avionics bay, incorporates its own antennas, and draws only 3 watts of power. This results in longer flight times and higher payload capacity for the next generation of airborne mobility. Tail Beacon X is immediately available to non-certified aircraft starting at $2,499 as a remotely controlled unit with options to bundle with the AV-20E or AV-30E. 
Parrot has been chosen to equip the Swiss Armed Forces with micro drones as part of the Swiss Mini UAV program. The call for tender launched at the beginning of 2019. It was intended to get the right cost-effective training aids for the troops to become familiar with mini UAV operations. The safety of people and military personnel, as well as knowledge of the terrain, can be significantly enhanced and easily deployed due to high-performance, light, and evolving drones. Product specifications, quantities, and prices are not disclosed. This structuring project marks a new step forward for the Parrot Group in the field of security and defense, on which the group has been working since 2018. And that wraps up our Airborne Demand for this week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to aubsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you tomorrow.